1661, Charles II, the Merry Monarch, was back on the throne. And on the site of what would become St Mary Le Strand, London celebrated by erecting a 10-storey tall maypole. Amid trumpets and drums and loud cheerings and the shouts of the people, the maypole, far more glorious, bigger and higher than ever any one that stood before it, was raised upright. And the little children did much rejoice, and ancient people did clap their hands, saying golden days began to appear. There was a maypole on the site before, but the Puritans had torn it down, along with all the others, a remnant of vile heathenism around which people in holiday times used to dance. Now, you can argue about May Day evolving from Beltane and the celebration of the return of the sun, but sadly, there is no evidence that the maypole itself is anything older than medieval. The pagan Saxons did venerate a pillar of wood, the Erminsul, which may have been their version of the world tree, the Norse Yggdrasil, but there was only one Erminsul near Obermarsberg, which Charles the Great destroyed, and sadly there is no evidence linking this with the Maypole. But it's around the 17th century that our modern concept of paganism starts to take form. Pagan comes to mean anything that is not Christian. And it was in the years that followed that paganism started to be seen as a conscious alternative to Christianity.